Being stranded alone in the Siberian wilderness poses a dire predicament, fraught with extreme cold and the presence of dangerous wildlife, making survival a formidable challenge even for seasoned outdoorsmen. Karina Chikatova lived in Olekminsk, Yakutia, the largest republic in Russia known for its sparse population and severe climate, where winters can last up to nine months with temperatures often falling below minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite these extreme conditions, Karina's story stands out as a testament to human resilience. Karina was born in 2010 to Talina, who was only 18 years old at the time. By 2014, when Karina disappeared, she was just three and a half, and her mother was 21. Many attributed the mishap to Talina's youth, deeming her too inexperienced, but judgments aside, Talina raised Karina single-handedly as the father was absent and occupied with another family elsewhere. In late July 2014, Karina and her mother visited her grandmother in the tiny village of Olam, over 40 miles from Olipminsk. The village, practically engulfed by the vast taiga forest, had expanded from 13 to 39 residents by 2019. Upon their arrival, Karina's father, who had come from another village, was already there. Kalina spent the day making hay, leaving Karina in her grandmother's and father's care. Karina spent her time playing with her puppy, Kairi Chan, which translates to little guy in Yakut. When Karina's grandmother took a nap and Talina returned later, either could find Karina or her father. Assuming the father had taken her as previously planned, they weren't immediately alarmed. However, when he returned alone three days later without leaving a note, panic set in. He claimed he hadn't taken her, last seeing her playing near the house. Upon discovering that Karina was not with her father, immediate efforts to find her were launched. However, the vastness and the rugged terrain of the taiga made the search challenging. Local authorities, volunteers, an AK-9 unit consisting of about 70 people combed through the forest. Despite this, the search persisted, fueled by hope. Six days in, a breakthrough came when Karina's puppy, also missing until then, suddenly appeared, leading the searchers to believe Karina might still be alive. However, the search dogs couldn't trace the puppy's scent. Finally, 11 days after her disappearance, a searcher noticed a slight movement in the grass, a small, outstretched arm. It was Karina, alive but weak, her arms and legs covered in mosquito bites, dressed only in a t-shirt and stockings without shoes. After being rescued, Karina, severely malnourished, was immediately taken to the hospital. She later recounted surviving on berries and how her puppy kept her warm and safe from predators. Years later, Karina is a student at the Yakut Choreography College, leading a relatively normal life, despite her extraordinary survival story. Her tale, commemorated by a sculpture at the Yakutsk airport and captured in a book, remains a stunning testament to resilience and the indomitable human spirit.